Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. Now it's July 1st, 2016 here in the States, which means it's already July 2nd, 2016 in China. Now what's the significance in that you may ask? Well, MOSAC 2016 or the Mobile Security Conference has already taken place. It was held this year as well as last year by the Pangu jailbreak team and they already gave their presentation at the event and we have so much to talk about. It's really exciting and to answer the question that's probably on every everyone's minds know there is not a new jailbreak out right now. However, we do have official word from the Pangu jailbreak team themselves. This is the first time that we've actually received any guidance from them concerning the possibility of a brand new jailbreak for iOS 9.3.x and higher. I'm super excited. Be sure to smash that like button if you are also excited and you're waiting for a brand new jailbreak and you're so pumped that we're actually going to get one because believe it or not, we are. So let's go ahead and get straight into this and talk about everything related to this conference and the developments that came of it. So again, for those of you who don't know, MOSAC was held in China on the 1st of July, and it's a conference covering topics ranging from Android rooting to iOS hacking, and again, Pangu gave an awesome presentation at the event. Unfortunately, I wasn't there myself, but we do have reports and we have information concerning their presentation. If you want additional details, however, on MOSAC and kind of what we expected from it previously, Obviously, then in your cards right now, there will be a link to my past video talking about MOSAC. All right, so the most important thing here, at least as far as the immediate jailbreak future is concerned, is what the organizer of MOSAC actually tweeted out. As you can see here, we have this little icon up in the left-hand corner on the official MOSAC website, which is just MOSAC.org. And when you go ahead and switch on over here to this individual's Twitter, of course, he has the same icon. And for his description, he states that he's the organizer of MOSAC. MOSEC. Well, what we're really interested in is this tweet right here. He said, MOSEC 2016, Pangu team showed one more demo about privacy policy in the latest iOS version 9.3.2. Now, this is incredibly important because other individuals who were in attendance at the event claimed that Pangu, after the presentation, answered some questions from individuals in the audience as well as on Twitter, and they confirmed that they are going to release a new jailbreak specifically for iOS 9.3.2. Yeah, that's right, not 9.3.3, the firmware that's currently in beta testing stages alongside iOS 10 within the next week. So if that actually pans out, that's absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, we don't have direct live video confirmation of what was said during the event, specifically during the Q&A section, where, of course, Pangu allegedly confirmed that they're going to release a 9.3.2 jailbreak, but chances are good that they hopefully will sometime within a week. That's so exciting, guys, but it doesn't stop there. It gets even better. As you can see from his previous tweet, he said, Pangu team has just shown demo about iOS 10 jailbreak. And when we actually go ahead and switch on over here to the Weibo account for MoSec, Weibo, of course, being a Chinese microblogging site, they actually included some pictures and they said this little blurb here. Of course, it is in Chinese though, so we have to switch on over to Google Chrome to get a direct translation. They said, Pangu team team speech last one more thing iOS 10 beta version of the system jailbreak demo video so yeah it looks like they did the one more keynote thing that was made famous by Apple and guess what they demoed an iOS 10 beta jailbreak so this is so exciting they also included some pictures here and of course the very first link down below in the description will contain these images for you to look at on your own device or computer so guys that's amazing there's really not much more to say other than it looks like we're going to get a brand new 9.3.x jailbreak and Pengu is already jailbroken iOS 10 probably not in the same way that hacker I hate snow did not too long ago because he actually utilized his own private iBoot jailbreak, which of course he's kept as a closely guarded secret since the days of iOS 7, meaning that jailbreak cannot be patched unless Apple somehow miraculously discovered the exact same iBoot exploit he's utilizing. No, Pengu probably created a new untethered jailbreak utility, undoubtedly thanks to the unencrypted iOS 10 kernel. That's some really awesome news. As I mentioned in that video not too long ago, we may very well start to see more new 
jailbreak utilities come into creation thanks to Apple unencrypting iOS 10's kernel on 64-bit devices. If you want additional information on that, of course, just be sure to check it out. I will have it linked below because that really seems like it's going to be key moving forward into jailbreaking's future. Now, one more thing I wanted to talk about, why would Pangu jailbreak iOS 9.3.2 when we know iOS 9.3.3 is right around the corner? It just received its fourth beta the other day, and it could be released to the public literally at any point right now. Well, that's a great question. See, there are a couple of exploits that are out in the wild right now that do function on iOS 9.3.2, specifically this incredibly powerful exploit that I actually detailed. One hacker, Luca Tedesco, made use of it and created a jailbreak demonstration inside of a web browser. So a web-based jailbreak, similar to jailbreak me, of course, not exactly the same as I highlighted in that video, but guess what? That extremely powerful exploit is patched on iOS 9.3.3. It would be an absolute shame to let it go to waste. And of course, it definitely leads to a jailbreak if utilized by the proper individuals, of course, in this case, likely Pangu. And what's more, there's an exploit that Luca Tedesco Tedesco himself actually released. It's a zero day exploit that he dubs gas gauge that could easily be patched by Apple in iOS 9.3.3's public release, but it does of course function on iOS 9.3.2. So if you're on iOS 9.3.3 beta right now, definitely go back to iOS 9.3.2 if you can. As far as upgrading to iOS 9.3.2 from whichever firmware you're on, as I said in my recent video where I gave you guys guidance as to whether you should update to a specific firmware or not, definitely stay where you are, even though it seems like Pangu will release a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.2. Don't panic, there's nothing to worry about yet, even if Apple releases 9.3.3 before a 9.3.2 jailbreak drops, there will be a window of opportunity for you to upgrade. Remember, I definitely suggest staying on as low of a firmware as possible until we have 100% definitive confirmation that a new jailbreak utility is released for the firmware you're thinking about upgrading to. So in other words, stay where you're at until a jailbreaks out. So that's really everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Again, so exciting. I'm really pumped for brand new jailbreak utilities to start coming out of the pipeline, specifically this iOS 9.3.x jailbreak and even the iOS 10 jailbreaks moving forward into the future. Like I said, hopefully we'll start to get more of those. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos discussing brand new jailbreak developments and anything going on in the world of iOS and jailbreaking in general, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.